Hi, this is James, and I'm here with the Oracle Outlook for the week starting April the 17th, 2017. This week, I'm going to be working with the Lenormand, and so the deck that's going to be assisting me for this week's reading is the 1889 Lenormand. It is by Jennifer Cast of For the Seekers. So I have the deck on hand, right, on the table in front of me. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle the cards. And as I do for each of my weekly general readings, the question and the intention is for information that is going to be helpful for us as we move through the upcoming week. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut the cards. And fan them out. And I'm going to pick five, because when I work with the Lenormand, I do a line of five. So I'm looking for five cards in the fan that speak to me, getting my attention. And now that I have the five cards selected, I'm picking up the remainder of the deck. And putting that to one side. So now I have my line of five. And when I work with Lenormand, what I do is I start with the middle card. For me, the middle card will represent the focus or the central um, issue that we're going to be looking at or that we're going to be impacted or affected by for the week ahead. So the card is the card is the lilies. And so the lilies can represent a couple of things. For me, the first immediate thing that's coming to mind is that this card is actually the lily and I'm thinking of Easter. And so we're moving from Easter into this coming week. So it comes right on the heels of Easter. So that's the first thing that comes to me. But lilies traditionally can represent a couple of things. So my keyword associations for lilies is that it can represent peace, it can represent harmony, it can represent tranquility, it can represent um, wisdom gained through experience. Now it has the inset of the king of spades and so it can represent an older man, an elder, you know, so that's where I get the idea of wisdom gained through experience. It's like that uh, expression, um, being older and wiser. So if it's not connected to a, a person in particular, because the King of Spades could suggest that there may be a, an elder, a senior, or an older man who is figuring prominently or um, having the issues or the experience centered on this particular type of person this week. But if it's not a specific person, then I tend to go with the general idea of looking at ways in which we can achieve peace, tranquility, how we can look at things from a more mature perspective, or, you know, the idea of like, if we are looking at ourselves, if we're doing some sort of self-reflection, then how have we gained a sense of maturity as a result of life experience, you know, that idea about being older and wiser. So I'm looking at the card and what else do I want to say about it in the moment? So, yeah, so again, I just want to say, like, again, this is about something maybe having to do with someone older, you know, a senior, um, an elder, um, somebody elderly, you know, things of that nature, or, you know, how, how can we look at maybe a previous experience with a sense of, what did we gain in terms of wisdom from having had that experience? So if you're no stranger to my Lenormand videos, you know that I always say Lenormand is a system that is best read in combinations with the other cards surrounding it. So that is Lily's, but the interpretation can be um, changed based on the surrounding cards. So looking at the cards here, we have, mm, I had a feeling this card would show up. So we have Stork at the beginning. That's the first card. We have Fox. And then on the other side of Lilies, we have Mountain. And then rounding out the line, we have Bouquet. So what I do when I do a line of five, I look to the cards that are immediately flanking 
the central card. So here on the left we had Fox, like I said. So Fox is a card that can represent um, a time when we are exploring um, job opportunities. I tend to look at this as job and employment. So for someone it could be you know, looking at career opportunities and it could be in that case, it could be like if you are looking for work, if you're looking for um, job opportunities, it would be asking yourself the question, what do I have experience in? And that would bring lilies into it. So if you're on a job search, then ask yourself, what is it that I have a great deal of experience in? And the other thing that's coming to me in the moment is when we're looking for work, we tend to sometimes look at it from the lens of what is the organization or what is the job going to do for me? And that would make sense because Fox in that regard can be um, motivated by self-interest. It could be about like survival in a way because I'm hearing that Madonna song in my head, Survival. So if you don't know that song, you'll have to um, YouTube it. <laughs> uh, go into the search bar and, and put in Survival by Madonna. But I'm hearing that song in my head. So sometimes, you know, when we're looking for work, we may be looking at it with a idea of like having a, a survival mentality or survival mindset. But with this, you know, sometimes you want to flip that and you could say, what level of experience can I bring to an organization? or to an employer. You know, what is it about me that would make me the right and perfect person for that job? You know, and you talk about it from the value that you're going to be bringing to the experience, especially when you're going on interviews. You want to talk about it from the value that you're going to be bringing, not necessarily looking at it, what the job's going to give you, but what are you going to bring to the job? What are you going to give to that company or organization? Right? So I'm seeing that. But it would be like, if somebody's looking for work, then it'd be about going with your level of experience. You know. For me, it's making me feel like maybe it's not like looking outside of an industry and, you know, or uh, into a different industry and saying, I'd like to try my hand at that. It would be like looking in an industry that maybe you've already had some experience in, maybe a different facet of it, but something that you already have a great deal of experience in. So I'm seeing that now. I'm taking a step back and seeing what else do I need to say about that. Because Fox can um, represent a couple of things. Now, if we go with the idea here that it represents an older person or somebody with um, some wisdom, then the Fox card can be about using your wisdom, using that level of discernment, uh, because the Fox card can represent somebody who may be taking advantage of you. You know, sometimes the Fox card in its not so positive sense can represent like being conned or being scammed, scammed, excuse me, or being taken advantage of. So it's about like being able to use your um, wisdom gained through much life experience to kind of maybe circumvent that. And the reason why I'm saying that because now it, it leads me to the other side of lilies because we have mountain. So mountain is a card that can represent a challenge, it can represent a block, it can represent an obstacle. You know, something that it can be overcome but it may take some effort to overcome it. So this card can also represent like um, um, delays or setbacks. Um, even things being postponed. So it could be like if you are looking for work, it could be like maybe you are returning to that job search after having some sort of challenges with that or you know some sort of setback or some sort of obstacle or having to postpone it for some reason one way or the other. But it could be like now's the time to come back to that. It's like you're working through the challenge. And it could be like maybe you would be overcoming the challenges of a job search because now I'm pairing um, fox and mountain as a pair it could represent job challenges or the challenge with seeking employment then it could be like maybe again falling back on what it is that you have experience with so I'm seeing that as possibilities so now let's go further out and we'll go to the card on the far left so now this is a card that I thought of when I decided I wanted to work with this deck so start opening the line up represents change. It represents change and improvement. And usually, it, for me, it represents positive change, right? So I was looking at the, thinking about this, and when I saw this card possibly showing up, you know, because I tend to see cards in my mind. So when I saw this card, I was really struck by the image. And so here we have a stork who's on a weather vane, and it has the, the directions. So for me, I was thinking about, like, um, the idea here about like a change 
in direction in terms of like a geographic change, like a, a move, moving in another direction. And so it's a matter of if there is someone who's watching this video who may be faced with the idea of moving, it could be like moving would be something that would be beneficial to you because it would be improving your situation and it would be creating positive change. It's just a matter of where do you see yourself going? Like what direction do you want to move in? And so as I'm saying that question, like what direction do you want to move in? That could be literal, like a literal change in scenery, but it could also be met metaphorical, like based on where you're at in this stage of your life, bringing it back to lilies, because remember I said lilies is about um, maturity and wisdom gained through life experience, but based on where you're at and what you've learned about yourself and learned about life at this point in time, where do you see yourself going? What changes could you make that would make your life more positive, that would enrich it, that would improve it? That's stork energy. So there was that. Now, since stork is right next to fox, and I already talked about fox possibly meaning, one possible meaning would be, um, you know, a job change, you know, then it could be, again, going with that, it would actually literally mean stork plus fox is job change. You know, so what, what would you be willing to do to kind of change or improve your job? You know, could it be like maybe if you were to move, maybe there's a chance that a, an opportunity is coming up in terms of a job, but it may require you to move. Would that be something you would be willing to do? You know, so I'm seeing that with stork at the beginning of the line, whatever it is, it could suggest, you know, changing something with the idea of improving it and making it better. And with that, if it's not a job change, because this thought is coming to me, if it's not a job change, then Fox is uh, about creating a strategy, you know? So it's about strategic change or a strategic improvement, you know, that kind of thing. So if you are seeking to create change, if you are wanting to improve something, what's your strategy? How are you going to go about it? And then Fox would say, you need to be clever about it. Right? And it could be too, somebody may be wanting to create change to foster a greater sense of independence. That's another thing that I get with Fox, like doing something independently. So it's about like, how can you do it on your own? It may be that you, you may need to do it on your own. You may be at first seeking to have other people help you with this job change or whatever it is that you're seeking change around. But it could be ultimately you may have to wind up doing it on your own. And if so, then... Fox looking at Lilies is saying, be strategic and use your experience. Be clever. You know a lot. You've learned a lot through life and life experience. So now take that experience and let it work for you rather than maybe thinking that it's going to work against you. So I'm seeing that as possibilities. Now, rounding out the line, we have bouquet at the end. So bouquet can represent uh, an invitation, it can represent a gift, it can represent a surprise. So I'm seeing that if somebody is actually looking for work, then this card would be nice to have at the end of the line because it could represent an invitation, like somebody offering something to you. Like it, it, it shows like after some delay, some setbacks, which would be the mountain, with this card coming after it, it would be the idea of like, I'm being rewarded after having a period of difficulty. Right, so I'm seeing this as somebody may actually be getting an invitation for a job. Like, you know, you get the job offer, you know, that kind of energy. So I'm seeing that. The other thing here, too, and I talked about this with Lilies being about experience, then this card is about um, talent. What talent do you have? And then bringing Fox back into that. Fox can be about skill. So if we're looking for work, if we're looking to create any kind of change with our job, then it could be, again, needing to look at what level of experience do we have? What are we talented and skilled at? What's our skill set? And how can we take that skill set and bring it into something else? Because I'm seeing the idea of here, transferable skills. So it's about like, what are you skilled at? And how can you parlay those skills into something else? The other thing here could be like, if somebody is actually exploring a job change, then it could be moving from being an employee to self-employed. That's another aspect of Fox is self-employment. You know, so it could be like the idea of here, what would you be willing to do with the skill set that you have, maybe that you've gained as being an employee for somebody else, and how can you parlay that into your own kind of gig? 
doing your own thing. And then bouquet would be um, the idea here about being creative with that because this is about creativity. So how can you take that and be creative in your approach, maybe creative in your strategy in terms of like creating change with that. Um, at the end of the line too, it could be um, there may be something that we've been working on in which by the end of the week, especially if we've gotten some challenges, some obstacles, some setbacks or some delays of that, we may actually uh, have a surprise that kind of helps us get over the hump with that. But I'm seeing bouquet at the end represents like being appreciated for our efforts. So it could be somebody on the job is actually receiving some form of appreciation um, in a gift maybe. Um, and especially to, I'm just seeing this, if the idea here with lilies being at the center, if somebody's retiring, you know, we talked about a senior, about an elder, so it could be like somebody who's actually facing retirement. And with that, they may get some sort of appreciation, could be in the form of um, a gift, something of that nature, a, a reward, some kind of um, honoring, but I'm seeing that as possibilities. So again, no matter what our efforts are, in some ways it could be specific related to job, but maybe just uh, in the work that we're doing in the business of life, we receive some form of appreciation for our efforts. So on that note, I will round out and end this week's Oracle Outlook. I'm Jameson Mitchell, and as I close, I first want to thank you for sharing space here with me for this week's reading, and I look forward to sharing the same space with you again in our next video reading together. So until then, I'm hoping that you have a wonderful day, and I'm hoping that you have a wonderful week. Take care.